Good afternoon, we the people and all American loving people. At this point here, you need to put aside your differences, put together and unite together the red, the blue, and the white. To unite together and take back what is ours. Our country, our constitution, our freedoms, and our liberties. I'm here on Wednesday. I told you I would be here every day until we get this back. We the people. It's Wednesday. We're coming up to the 21st of August, Saturday at 12 p.m. All time zones, every town nationwide, I am asking and calling everybody and anybody to gather 10 peaceful, peacefully and patriotic We the People supporters, even in your homes, every town nationwide, to join us with this national We the People Day to Pray movement in demand, taking back our country our Constitution, our freedoms, and our liberties. We will no longer allow a fraudulent tyranny government to dictate what our moves and freedoms will be. As a patriot, I take my oath now in front of whoever is watching this and please share it out to fulfill my duty as a U.S. born citizen and a sovereign soul that was born into freedom and liberty in one nation under one creator undivided with liberty Injustice for all. Period. I pledge the allegiance right now, and I have all my life. And I ask all of you to join me to do your part, do your duty, to stand with a voice peacefully and patriotically on August 21st, 12 p.m., your time. We will stand up united together nationwide at 12 p.m. all time zones. On my YouTube, Derek Arnold, we will go live. And I ask everybody this day to be in celebration, be in the demand of your country being returned to you, your constitution, and we will all together request peacefully and patriotically all branches of our military to come in, aside us, and to help us take back and give back what has been ours from the beginning. And in 1776, 18, 1776 we had our Constitution. Bill of Rights. In 1871, we were unknowingly signed into the Act of 1871. Well, today and on Saturday the 21st at 12 p.m., we are abolishing the Act of 1871. We the people and our military are taking back what is ours, period. You're not getting away with it anymore. And you either have two choices, stay in the dark and do the wrong things or step into the light where things are gonna be done right. It's not any simpler than that. I don't care what religion, I don't care what your belief is. My belief is I have a creator. My belief is I have a higher power within me. 
and my higher power speaks through me and it's speaking to every soul every heart that loves children that loves our freedoms that loves our liberties that wants to save it all for our children for our grandbabies our great grandbabies our great great grandbabies i know i said these words yesterday but they need to go out please please i ask everybody that watches or doesn't even watch this video to like subscribe and share out my videos and my channel my youtube channel hit the notification button it'll let you know when i'm coming on so you'll know saturday and i will be putting messages out all the way up till then and saturday morning reminding everybody and trying to get as many voices all at once in this nation throughout this nation having a voice peacefully and patriotically and on, the only thing beyond that that you have to do people we the people is get a hold of any leaders in your county that is for America and we the people and get affidavits signed and turned in and from what I understand an article warrant I'm not a hundred percent sure that's not my I don't deal with that I'm not just like I don't deal with medical stuff I'm not a doctor just like President Trump does not deal with medical things he puts an order out for ones that are trusted behind the scenes that have been here for years not just when President Trump came in these things have been in place long before President Trump so let's get things straight he's not a doctor He's not part of the CDC. He's not part of the CIA. Clowns in America. Clones in America that has bamboozled and robbed the American people in the world, not just the American people, the world of their freedoms and liberties and has had them all enslaved all our lives. So I ask you, please share this out. This is speaking through me to get to you for a reason. I am not employed. I'm not enlisted in the military. I'm serving now. My family has enlisted. My family has served. We pray and we thank every man and woman that has ever and that is and that will be serving our constitution our country our we the people i ask every church to step away from religion if that's what you're in be in relationship pass my word that's speaking through me to you to every church you know and ask them to join us whether it be in their homes or at their church home and gather together we the people in the national day to pray together united we stand forever i know some a lot of you might not know exactly what's going on in the world i know some of you are against what's good for the world because you don't like one specific person please step away from that I don't care if you voted Republican or Democrat I could care less who was my president at this moment right now my concern right now is what we're gonna leave behind for our kids and grandbabies because no president today will be a president forever so what's important is what we save and salvage forever I never voted in my life I am not political so I am not taking a political side in life as a football coach as someone that works with youth and is supposed to teach youth integrity and character 
and how not to cheat the system. Cheat, cheat, you never beat. As a football coach, it is my duty to teach unity because it takes 11 players to win a game. It takes 11 players to be on the defense. It takes 11 players to be on the offense. In this world, we have both. And I'm here to say the White Hats are in control and this is God's plan. I don't care what you call it, but it's our creator. And our nurturer is Mother Nature. Plain and simple. Does not take a rocket scientist or any science to prove that God, your creator, will never leave you and will never forsake you. We are the only living species ever to live, to depend on a currency that's printed by the tree of life, that has no worth in the printed paper, but the tree of life will always teach you value. In order to fix a damaged tree as an arborist speaks to you. Sometimes, and I'm going to rephrase that, all the time, you have to address the poison within the roots. And in nature, in the wild, in the woods, there's many different species of trees that have dropped seeds to produce more trees. If you watch the wildlife in between those trees, it is our creator's blueprint telling you that he's there, will never leave you, will always provide for you. It is us we, the people, the, hum the human race, humanity, that has a duty to walk the steps of our Creator and speak the words of our Creator. Life, life, period. If it has life, it is by our Creator and from our Creator. And thank God and all the glory to God that the right team was put in place to fulfill and live out our Creator's plan. And we the people are going to walk in faith, speak in faith, that our Creator has repaired all the roots so we the people can go and we can grow and the only way we're gonna go, gonna grow is if we re move beyond prepare and get into repair the only way you're gonna do that is if you use the voice that your creator has given you Speak your freedoms, speak your liberties peacefully and patriotically and demand back what was taken from you. I will say again and I'll ask again. Every piece of the puzzle has played its own part. A puzzle that has come formed together in full does not leave pieces out. So if you are a truth seeker and a truth speaker, a mentor or a teacher, 
the truth. Do not leave pieces of the puzzle out so the puzzle in the picture cannot be read. I'm asking any and all mentors and teachers of truth to share my message onto your platforms with all your viewers so they can share it out. So we multiply in one, one body, one nation. Please, I don't know how many times I have to ask, but I'll ask every time. Hats off to the people that I follow on a daily basis for quite some time now. The Patriot Party shoot or the Patriot Party news. PPN news. The original Mark Z. Charlie Ward. Simon Parks. Michael Jaco. Mel K. Nino. Nino's Corner. David Rodri Rodriguez. Uh, I'm trying not to forget any. Gene Decode. Flashpoint. All these people and teachers and mentors teaching for truth, which is truth is the light. Light will set you free. We are not at a point to worry about how many. We are at a point where how do we get every one of our messages out to everybody? This is not about you. This is not about me. This is not about Trump. This is not about Joe, the show, Biden. This is about thee. So please step into thee. Have faith that the good works you've done up to now will be rewarded and your family will remain united. Share, share, share. I share every one of you out. I speak highly of every one of you. And I pray for every one of you. This message is only to get our nation together at once. Speaking at once. I have traveled many states to seek and speak truth. I have many videos of live footage. I have even the corrupt MSNBC coming up second to me, filming a military capture of a coyote at the Texas border wall. So if anybody wants to be in the real, there's the real. However, those videos never came out. That video has disappeared. Just like the video in Texas at the border wall in a family park during open hours at a press conference for our First Amendment getting asked to leave and escorted out by Washington D.C. Capitol Police. I have it on video and it disappeared. Someone called me during that video and can prove it along with me. That person knows who they are. I was there peacefully and patriotically. I spoke my voice. I asked about my First Amendment. They shrugged their shoulders and their head. I followed up, did my homework, and called Washington, D.C., the number I was given by the Lieutenant Michael of Capitol, D.C. Police. And I spoke to a woman for a good 15, 20 minutes. I let her know my concerns and requested an interview. To this day, other than my video coming up 
missing and disappearing off my phone, I have not yet got a call back. Since then, I was in D.C. on my Harley Davidson, loud and proud, in my Trump gear, just like now, but I had a bandana on of the Trump 2020. I talked physically to Capitol D.C. police, making a statement, asking him, any idea when this is going to open up again? And I say that because it was closed April 27th, but they were there with ambulance in the parking lot, with military there, and with a bunch of cars parked on the side, with security over there, and I talked to them as well. The response given to me was, they don't tell us. My response in response to him was, from what I hear, never again. And I do have video of that. It's on my Facebook. I'm banned for 30 days. If you're able to go on my Facebook, Derek Arnold, you can see all my videos. They're left that they haven't taken or censored, you know. Then, let's see, I left there. It was a ghost town, but I left there, rode by where the other security was, where all the cars were parked on April 27th this year, 2021. From what I hear, it was Hillary Day, but I don't know. I'm not the president. I'm not the vice president. I'm not the military. Anyways, so I went by slow and I says, hey, do you think they're going to let me in today? And he's like, I don't think they're letting you in there today. And I also did interviews in front of the White House down there. And I look across the street in one of my videos and there's a big BLM. Black Lives Matter sign on the building across the street from the White House. Well, when I left the cap Capitol, the same thing. It was posted a big banner of Black Lives Matter on that building. Wide out in the open. To me, that was drops for people that were there in D.C. To see where BLM, Black Lives Matter, originated from. How close to home in the District of Columbia, a foreign identity that is bankrupt, the 1870, Act of 1871 has been abolished, IRS has been abolished, however, IRS for the next, for a year, has gone into the Treasury, the U.S. Treasury, which is now in Reno, so everybody knows, and it'll run along with the Treasury for the next year. This is why you haven't got your tax returns for anybody that hasn't gotten them. I haven't, and I haven't even got a dime of any stimulus. Some have, some haven't. I'm glad I didn't, because I don't want a dime of the government's money. I want my money. I want what is mine, and I want my freedoms and liberties, period. And I'm not going to be silent or silenced until... We the people get it done. So please step up, stand up, united with me, with our nation and our republic and save all of humanity. I know I'm throwing a lot out there. I can back the stuff up. If you guys message me and ask me questions, I can back the stuff up. Here's some dates told you yesterday I'd give you dates. If you don't know, you're about ready to know. 2017, there was an executive order for child trafficking. Since 2017, with the executive order of child trafficking, we have found out that over 800,000 children in the U.S. alone come up missing. Globally, I can't even remember the number, millions millions and military bases and dumps have been used as lily pads to traffic humans weapons and the drugs brought into this country that have killed many many one more so the alcohol killed my stepson 
when he was 19, a month after getting his diploma. Then my biological oldest son died from an overdose and thank God his girlfriend was there to call 911 that has brought him back to life. From what I understand, he is now back in rehab again, trying to recover from the addiction of the drugs trafficked over here, like the fentanyl and the heroin, the opium, all that stuff. Obviously, the opiates are made, they make heroin with it. Then they're adding the, the fentanyl. The fentanyl is coming from China. The opium, opium fields or poppy seed fields, whatever they are, whatever wherever they're getting all that stuff out of, making out of, is in is in Iraq, I believe. You know, our our troops over there protecting oil and and drugs to be trafficked in humans, taking orders from our corrupt. Whoever they are, living in the darkness, working out of the Pentagon, which they are going down to, the ones that are living in darkness and creating darkness. You're going bye-bye. All he is. So back to dates. 2018. Well, before I give you this date, let's finish up on the 2017 human trafficking. Remember Bob Kraft. Robert Kraft from the New England Patriots, the corrupt New England up here, where the elections are run by one man of five different states, all New England states. Not Bob Kraft, he's an owner of the New England Patriots, but he was busted in a sting in Jupiter for human trafficking. This is all part of it, guys. Walmart is involved and owned by CCP, but involved with human trafficking, taking children. Disney World, part of and a big hub for human trafficking, taking children. Disneyland, same thing. Walt Disney was put in place by CIA to fulfill their play in the devolution. Well, I'm here to say it's all done. So do your due diligence, do your research, look this stuff up. If, you, if you're new and don't know, you're going to be blown away. But there's facts and there's documentation. Look up Duck, on DuckDuckGo. Don't look up on Google. Please. They're corrupt. They're part of the cabal. Okay? And they're done. They're done. Okay? Media is done. Uh, we were supposed to get an EBS and only a small percentage got the EBS because of the media, because of these networks. Well, they're all done too. So now you're going to start seeing not just dripping stuff coming out of the media. You're going to see pouring things coming out. You're going to see things pouring out. And you're going to get to watch over and over films of everything that's gone on for many, many many years the Catholic religion was big part of it we hope they have cleaned up their act and gotten the right way there has been big churches and I've supported and listened to mentors from big churches I don't know at this point right now exactly who's not good and who's good I'm going to wait to the facts for that to come out and then they will face a military tribunal as well as everybody else playing their part in the darkness.